Joining us now in the studio is Phoebe Stapleton. She is the recipient of the 2024 SOT Achievement Award. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. And congratulations on your award too. Thank you, thank you so much. That's so exciting. Is. So your research is really fascinating. At Rutgers, you are studying how microplastics and nanoplastics that could be inhaled by pregnant mothers may affect the mother, may affect the fetus, and then the child as it develops. Tell us how you got interested in this topic to begin with. So my background is in cardiovascular physiology, and then in my postdoc, I started working in inhalation toxicology. And then we started to ask the question of how something a mother inhales during pregnancy could affect the developing fetus. And notice that in the epidemiology literature for humans, we see an association between air pollution exposure and fetal growth restriction. So I really wanted to understand the mechanisms of how that occurs. What have you found when it comes to the transfer of microplastics from the placenta to the fetus? So we found that it happens, okay. and that's not something that one would kind of assume because that placenta is supposed to act as a biological barrier. It's only supposed to let good things in and have bad things come out. And so the fact that these particles are getting through, which are like small grains of sand or even smaller, the fact that it's allowing them through is a concern unto itself. How is the cardiovascular system particularly at risk with the exposure? Well, the cardiovascular system unites all of those systems. It's the track from the lung to the placenta to the fetus. And so it's really the roadway for these particles to be able to get there is what we're assuming at this point. So tell me how you're hoping that your discoveries will shape the future of toxicology. So for the future of toxicology, I guess my hope is that we'll continue to break down silos. Our work looks at cardiovascular toxicology, inhalation, nanotoxicology, reproductive and developmental toxicology. When we're going to continue our work collaborating with neurotoxicologists, those involved in liver toxicology as well. So just to continue to break down those silos or those individual experiments, try to get a better holistic outcome of what these particles are really doing in the maternal fetal system. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insight with thank us. Thank you so much. And you're in luck because if you want to find out more about Phoebe's research, she is presenting on Tuesday evening in Grand Ballroom F.